that great powers who basically write the rules or write international law understand that rules matter, institutions matter, international law matters. It's in the interest of great powers to have lots of rules in the modern world. So there's no dispute between you and me on that. I think where you and I differ is that I believe that if a great power thinks that its vital interests are threatened by obeying a rule or a law that it wrote, in such a case, it will violate the rule. It will violate the law. It will do whatever is necessary to protect itself, to guarantee its survival. Now, very importantly, Bob, this does not happen often because the great powers write the rules so that they suit the great powers' interests. So obviously, you're not going to have a whole heck of a lot of cases where the great powers feel compelled to violate those rules or those laws. But every once in a while, you run into an important case where a state, a great power in particular, decides that the rules counter act what are the state's vital interests. And in that case, it will axiomatically violate the rules. That's the basic argument here. 